Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this new video card from Galaxy Tech. This is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680. So here's a closer look at the box just for some of the basic specs. You do get a three-year manufacturer's warranty from Galaxy, so very generous there. Apart from the included GeForce GTX 680 GPU, you also get a 2048 megabyte or 2 gigabyte GDDR5 memory frame buffer. That memory uh, runs at 1.5 gigahertz. It's a 256-bit interface. Uh, you also get DirectX 11 compatibility with all the eye candy that's available through that. And of course, the NVIDIA features such as SLI for running more than one card, physics, and 3D vision. So next up, let's take a look at what comes inside the box. First off, you get a notice from Galaxy. Attention customers, they want you to register your card. Basically, uh, that three-year warranty is an extended warranty. In order, to, in order to get that, you need to contact them and give them your registration information so that they may give you uh, the proper warranty service. There's the video card itself. We're going to come back to that after we finish off the accessories, which uh, must be in this little pouch here. Uh -huh. Let's see. We have... An adapter here that is a DVI to analog VGA. That's a D sub plug right there. Uh, and you can only use this with one of the DVI outs on the card. I'll show you which one. Oh, but they've given you two. That seems odd to me because you can only use one. These are both, yeah, they're both DVI to VGA. Don't ask me why they've given you two because one of the video outs on the card is an analog out, but uh, they're just covering their bases, I suppose. You get two power adapters here. These are. Uh, both have two Molex, four pin Molex plugs up there at the top, and we'll convert that to a six pin PCI Express power plug. So if your power supply cannot, uh, there does not have PCI Express power plugs, you can use those to adapt it. Uh, you get a setup guide, easy steps to set up your graphics card from Galaxy, which folds out like that and gives you a nice easy walkthrough for installing the video card if you're not familiar with that process. You also get the GTX series user manual from Galaxy, which includes pertinent information about the graphics cards, more information there on uh, installing it, safety instructions and whatnot. You get this driver disk. Uh, this is going to have the basic drivers for the GTX 680, 300 series drivers. And uh, you will definitely want to um, go to the NVIDIA website to download the latest drivers for this video card because uh, since it's a brand new GPU, they're going to be updating those over time and uh, you'll get better compatibility with games and you'll get increased graphics card performance as well as those graphics cards drivers mature. So here's the Galaxy GTX 680 itself. As you can see, it has a black shroud covering the whole uh, video card and the cooling solution, but first off I'm going to give a quick measurement. So measured here from the PCI bracket, it is just over 10 inches long, maybe 10.1, 10.2 inches. Should fit in most existing gaming computer cases, uh, which is nice to know for a new video card okay. that it will fit in your current computer case. Uh, here at the top they have some Galaxy logoing, they've gone with some blue and black. Uh, this, again, the uh, plastic shroud covers the entire cooling solution. GPU actually resides right about here in the center of the video card. Uh, it has um, some customized cooling fins inside there that I can't really show you because the cooler is covering it, but a uh, custom cooling solution stays quite cool under load, I should say. Um, right here is your blower style fan. They've got an NVIDIA logo on that one. And uh, what that is going to do is draw air from inside your, connect inside your case. It's going to eject some of it out the back right there through that slit. Uh, a little bit more of it can exhaust through this, uh, these gaps right here next to the Galaxy logo. And the majority is going to be pushed out the rear of your case through these uh, exhaust vents in the PCI bracket. Moving back over here to, let's flip it this way. Um, we have a GeForce GTX logo right there. In most cases, this is how your computer, I mean, in most computer cases, this is how the video card will be installed. So that's what you'll be looking at most of the time. You also got the Galaxy logo there on the right. Um, wait, that's the left. Galaxy logo on the left. Um, and then uh, here at the top, you have a couple SLI connectors. So um, you can use these SLI connectors for two-way, three-way, or four-way SLI, which would be pretty crazy with the GTX 680. Uh, here, kind of in the center of the card, beneath this X pattern, is where the GPU actually resides. Uh, this GPU series has been anticipated for quite some time. The code name was Kepler. 
now that it is launched, it is the GE Force 600 series. The specific codename of the GPU used in the 680 is the GK104. It has 1,536 CUDA cores and it runs at 1,006 megahertz core clock. It also has a cool feature called Boost Clock, if you're familiar with uh, Intel or AMD CPUs and how they can throttle themselves up or down based on load. It's similar to that, but uh, 1,006 megahertz is what it will run at most of the time, and then when you put a load on the card, it will jump up to 1,058 megahertz to give you a bit of extra performance. Uh, let's see, what else am I forgetting? Oh, I almost forgot this. This is your PCI connector. This is PCI Express Generation 3 compatible. Uh, it's also backwards compatible with PCIe Gen 2 or 2.1. Uh, the Gen 3 gives you a bunch of additional bandwidth, roughly two times that of uh, PCIe Gen 2. Um, but for this card, uh, don't worry if you have a PCIe Gen 2 motherboard. It's backwards compatible and uh, you really don't have enough uh, data moving back and forth between the card and the CPU to saturate even the PCIe Gen 2 bus. Uh, let's talk about power. We have uh, these power plugs down here on the end. Two six-pin power plugs is all that's required for this card. Uh, so you can use the included adapter there to plug those in, or you can use the ones that come with your power supply. Uh, 195 watt TDP on this card, so it stays below that threshold, doesn't even require an 8-pin connector, and uh, it's recommended that you have at minimum 550 watt power supply to power this card. Finally, let's move around here to the rear of the card where your PCI slot is. You can see there are four video outs. And yes, you can use all of these at once. You can actually push up to four displays with this single card. You can use three of those displays for gaming, and the fourth is a companion display or an accessory monitor. Uh, so you can use that to pull up, for instance, websites, or maybe you have an instant messenger or something like that up while you're gaming, and then use uh, two or three of the other monitors for uh, gaming and doing surround gaming even with this single video card. Uh, now here are your DVI adapters. One on the top there is DVI-D, which is digital. Uh, you'll notice here on this side where there's usually a little uh, kind of a square pattern. Those are the analog connectors for a DVI plug. They're absent on this one, so this will only be a digital connector. Uh, the one down here is DVI-I, and that's got the both digital and analog connectors. So if you're using one of those adapters included in the box, you'll want to use it with this lower DVI plug here. Both DVI connectors are uh, dual links so they can push higher resolutions of uh, up to and beyond 2560 by 1600. Also over here you have HDMI out and you get a display port out. Earlier in the video I showed you guys that we had two of these DVI to VGA adapters and I wondered why they did that and the answer is that they weren't supposed to. They actually have the box contents listed right here and there's only supposed to be one of those in the box so um, they just threw us a bonus to one so don't worry about that. Galaxy knows what they're doing. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Galaxy Tech version of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680 video card. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.